Hello, and welcome back to more Trag. You asked for it. Yes, yes, you. You right there. You wanted more of this. So you're getting it. Last time we were together, we... Actually, we beat the game. But we got the bad ending. And enough people said, hey, go get the good ending. That I decided, okay, I'll do it. I'm not playing most of it off screen. But I thought, you know, whatever was different, or I thought was interesting enough, I would record for you to watch. So the first thing that's different is... Instead of taking the elevator, we can actually go to the back and take the emergency stairs. Now I got Michelle in her Jombie the Genie get up here. And Alex is going Super Saiyan Blue. There should be some emergency stairs at the back. The stairs or the elevator are the only ways up. I'll bet there's a trap in one of them. Yeah, let's split up for now. Alright, so you can see here that during these kind of in-game cutscenes, the characters are using their full costumes. Now, last time we played, we had Michelle use the stairs and Alex use the elevator. So Alex is going to use the stairs this time. I'll be on the radio. Be careful. All right, we get a cut scene of Alex going up the stairs. To Augusta Building, floor twenty six. Alright, well, Alex is up here now, and if we switch to Michelle... Alright, and she's just on floor 25. Now, you know what? Since it's early enough in the game, I want to see what changes if we choose Michelle to take the stairs. All right, so this time Michelle will take the stairs. I'll take the elevator. You take the stairs. Okay. Any problems? I'll be on the radio. Be careful. All right, nice. We do get a cutscene of Michelle racing up the stairs. So it looks like her cutscene's a little more involved. Alright, but that's not what we're going to stick with. We're going to skip back to how we had it the first time, and Alex is going to be up here. Now let's take a look at what happens when Michelle meets Rachel. from the Special Forces. <laughs> Sorry I jumped on you like that. We 
we've come to rescue all the captives. Are you alone? Yes, I think Daddy and the researchers are locked up in another room. Right, you stay hidden here for now, and I'll go look for the others. Alright, so Rachel has joined the party. Now Rachel has a second color as well. Now she's running around wearing purple. All right, Rachel's getting impatient. So we're gonna see what happens when she and Michelle look at the slides. I still can't believe his name is Volt Maverick. it was impossible but a cybernetic brain already exists after that daddy stopped his research though he didn't want his techniques used for evil ends i see forget about me though we've got to find daddy Well, you heard the girl. Let's get going. So remember that dark room that we found with Michelle that we couldn't explore because it was too dark? And we had to wait until we got the power back on? Well, Alex is a little different. Alex's night vision goggles allows him to start exploring this room even earlier. Alright, Holograph Compass, the North Seeking Goddess. Now, is this going to work without there being any power? Sure doesn't look like it. But Alex does get the locker key a little sooner as a result. Alex's meeting with Burns is a little different as well. Yeah, sadly no robot suplex. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. You saved my life. I'm a local detective. The name's Byford, Burns Byford. 
I've been investigating this building in relation to a recent kidnapping. So you know the prof? Not personally. I was just sent in to rescue him and his daughter. So he is here. I knew it. But hey, this is no time to be chatting. There are a lot of traps up ahead. You're in the special forces. Could you help me get through? Sure thing. I'm Alex. Okay, partner. Let's go. And Burns joins the party. Now Alex goes Super Saiyan Blue. What does Burns do? Well, Burns changes his shirt. And like only the most manly of men, he is wearing pink. So now let's go meet Duck King with Alex. <laughs> hey, you over there! Help me, please! Here it comes! What happened? This crazy looking punk appeared out of nowhere and killed a guy in the bar. A researcher, I think he was. I thought I was next, but you saved me. I'm the bartender here. King's the name. But what on earth's going on? Seems the building's been taken over by a bunch of punks. We're in an emergency situation. You'd be safer hiding over there. Yeah, good idea. Do you have anything belonging to the man who died? No, don't think so. Wait a minute. He left this behind at the bar. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in useful. Now, excuse me, but I'm gonna hide. Also, because I was able to do some of the puzzles out of order, we can also see what happens if Burns is the first to meet Duck King. Dynamite. Thanks. What happened? This crazy looking punk appeared out of nowhere and killed a guy in the bar. A researcher, I think he was. I thought I was next, but you saved me. I'm 
find a bartender here. King's the name. But what on earth's going on? Seems the building's been taken over by a bunch of punks. We're in an emergency situation. You'd be safer hiding over there. Yeah, good idea. Do you have anything belonging to the man who died? No, don't think so. Wait a minute. He left this behind at the bar. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in useful. Now, excuse me, but I'm gonna hide. Punks, I'm rooting for you. So here's what happens when Michelle notices Professor Howard being attacked. That must be Professor Howard. I've got to save him. And here's Rachel noticing her father being attacked. Yeah, she just kind of smacks the controls too. So this time, let's see what happens when Rachel and Michelle confront Burnham. That's far enough. to break through the shutter. Okay, last time Rachel was able to bust her way through the door. We're going to see if Michelle can do it as well. Ooh, look at that. She's already put a huge dent into it. somewhere I'm still checking things out here I'll meet up with you as soon as I'm done see if you can find the professor Roger all right Michelle and Rachel's part of the adventure is over well for the time being now we're gonna take Alex and Burns to go meet Gashu Come out and play, Burns. 
I know you're there. It's Gashu. Howdy, Burns. <laughs> Imagine meeting you here. You're one of the most wanted men in the country, Gashu. And today I'm bringing you in. Ho, ho, ho. Like you're really gonna be able to make it up here. And besides, soon both you and this building are going down. <laughs> but lie. Stop mouthing off and stay where you are, punk. What's that? Well, that is the Red Scorpion. And we had a seriously hard time fighting this thing with Michelle and Burns. But I think Alex is going to have a much easier time. Ooh, we are making short work of it with this HE ammo. Now that it's defeated, let's see what happens when they use the steel cable. The elevator's not working. We've got to find another way to get upstairs. Leave it to me. I'll see what I can do with this steel wire. So all in all, not really all that different. But now Alex and Burns will confront Gashu at the top of the elevator. like a time bomb, and it's already been activated. If it explodes, this whole building will go down like a house of cards. We've got to deactivate it. <laughs> That's impossible. Gosh, you! Both stubborn and stupid, aren't you? But not to worry. I've got plenty of surprises waiting for you.
Well, Alex tried. Didn't work out very well, but he tried. All right, now it's time for our team to reconnect. Hey, you okay? Hang in there. Ah, that no good punk gushes. He fell down from up there. Come on, we've got to get him to the sick room for first aid. Ah. He's coming around. You look like a friend of hers. That's good. What happened up there? They've planted a huge bomb upstairs. I don't know what they're playing at, but if we don't deactivate that bomb, this building will be blown to kingdom come. But you're in no condition to move. Don't worry about me. Takes more than this to keep me down. You wait here while we go deactivate that bomb. Yep, since Alex was the one that took the spill, falling from the upper level to the lower, he's the one that's going to be out of commission for a little while. So with that being the case, let's see how Rachel reacts to meeting Gashu. So overall, it's pretty similar to his interactions with Burns and Alex. Let's see how Rachel does fighting against him, though. Ooh, that was new. Ooh, is that new too? I don't remember him doing that, uh, that flaming uppercut. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Juggle him a bit. He's good at dodging our big attack. Right, it might be a good idea to do a little healing. We got plenty of healing items because I was very careful with using them up to this point. Ooh, wait. Ah, he still dodged. Alright, but I can get him if he's in the middle of using his laser. Michelle's uh, agility seems to help a lot in this fight. got him. There we go.
Now while he is going down, we have to defuse this bomb. I'm expecting this is going to play out pretty much the same way. But we're going to have uh, Michelle speaking instead of Alex. But I screwed up with it and blew up a building. Oh dear. Good job, Burns. All right, so three is our first number. This button should release the cover. You're really going to press it? Are we going to press it? It's okay, right? Of course. All right, next is two. Zero is next. This button should release the cover. I hope so. You're really going to press it? Are we going to press it? Now, which one's next? Well, there's only one left. This and that one is one. Me. Hurry. You see, this is as far as I got last time, then we've got to turn the fuse to the left or right to release it. Deciding which way is the problem. Left or right? Last time I got it wrong and boom. Stay cool, Mr. Byford. All right, all right. That dang blasted Gashu. Which way is it? So, the first time we did this, we also got it wrong because we picked right. Left is the correct choice, but I'm gonna pick right just to see what happens if the scene is any different with Michelle being here. Nope, doesn't look any different. Alright, now let's do it the right way. Go left. Of course! We just do the opposite! Here we go! Go for it! We did it! We deactivated the bomb! to the good old special forces. <laughs> nice to see you laughing again, Mr. Byford. You were shaking like a leaf before. 
What I'd like to know is why they planted the bomb in the first place. No point worrying about it now. We disarmed it, didn't we? So here's something worth checking out. Or maybe at least worth noting. Suspicious chair. I'm not sure if I want to sit on this. Anyone else volunteer? Yet yeah, Burns here will not sit in the chair. So we have to use somebody else. So if that was Michelle's interaction with Gashu, what is her interaction with the succubus going to be? I see you've arrived at last. Hand over the system disk now. Hand over Professor Howard first. Don't give them the disk. Shut up. So the troublesome little mice appear on the scene again. Miguel! I'm honored you remember my name. I detest liars. Hand over the disc, and I promise I shall release the professor. I'll go. Here's the disc. piece of with this disc I shall become ruler of the entire world <laughs> hold it right there Miguel you must fight me first I'll deal with her. We had a great deal of trouble dealing with her, but we're going to give it a shot with Michelle anyways and see what happens. You get the professor to the sick bay. Actually, we've done a big chunk for HP already. Uh-oh. Okay, these diamonds were bad news. Oh, 
this is not a good spot to be. Gotcha. Michelle's mobility is making this a lot, a lot easier to deal with. Almost gotcha. I do think it is safe behind the desk. Come on, get down from there. Gotta hit you one more time. Oh, this is annoying. up. I wonder if they were all robots now that I think of it. Daddy! Ah, Rachel. Professor Howard, what was in the disc? A program to control the Garland System satellite. With that program, you can operate the satellite from any location. So that means Miguel is... Yes. He's planning to use the satellite for his own evil ends. To take control of the world. And behind him is the evil Vault. Vault? He's a big noise in the Weapons Development Division. He's the one who planned this whole thing. Uh, uh, uh. Daddy? Please, you've got to get the disc back. Don't worry, Professor. Rachel, I'm so sorry things had to end this way. Uh, uh. Daddy! No! So the Professor's dead. I have no clue how I completely missed this the first time through. got to do right time to kick some butt a 
All right, the team is back together. And at this point, I don't think anything is going to be really all that different. But if anything, you know, ends up being different from how we played it last time, I'll be sure to show you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you a little later. Do you remember during the course of the game, there was this room in the basement where we used the power handle? Well, I don't think I used it. So we're going to use it now and see what happens. My burns do the honors. Alright, now I kind of figured that this platform would move from one side to the other. But now the question is, what did doing that accomplish? Ooh. Yeah, you said it, Rachel. There's that treasure chest I was so interested in. A black EX bottle. Nothing left, huh? A laboratory next door. Yeah, we were in there. But a black EX bottle is something good. That gives us an extra 100 points of life. Now, unfortunately, life doesn't carry over from game to game, and I'm kind of kind of think of using it on burns. Maybe I'll use it on uh, maybe I'll use it on Michelle actually. Put her and burns at about the same life. All right. Well, if anything else interesting comes up, I will be sure to report. Do you remember that murder bot that I was terrified to deal with? Well, now we're going to try to deal with it. It seems I may have been uh, a little scared of nothing. But, hey, we got it defeated. Okay, so, Rachel has planted her core in the machine to stall the satellite, and if what my friends in the chat told me, we have roughly about 10 minutes to get to the basement to get the good ending. So I'm going to race right that way. Try to avoid as many enemies as we can. Overall, we're doing pretty good on health. I don't know if things like time in the menu or anything like that counts. 
So overall, we're just going to try to be quick. I don't know if time spent fighting Barum, Brenham, Brenham and Gashu count. I would assume they do. So all the more reason to be quick. Now for whatever reason, I kind of want to fight Brenham with Rachel. And we're going to see what happens. Alright, not off to a good start. Gotcha. I was actually kind of afraid that wasn't going to hit. Let me get a little closer. He still hit me. Actually, I think we might be going right under some of his attacks. Ooh, didn't like that, did ya? Ah. Okay, he's gonna kill us if he hits us. Ah, gotcha. I really want to see if I can hit him out of this. No, I guess not. Almost, come on. <sighs> Good rinse. But I think overall we're doing okay on time. Alright, Burnsy.
Burns, I only think it's fitting that you take on Robogashu. Still got me. Hmm. He doesn't seem as interested in using the machine gun this time around. Doing okay, Burns. Run, run, you fool. All right, we still got two of our big hits in, though. He isn't quite fast enough. Or I'm not quite fast enough. Either way, we're not getting it done. Ah. No, not the first aid tube. Gotcha. Alright, I'm pretty sure we pulled it off. Which way do I want to go? Alright, we I think we pulled it off because Rachel did not have her cutscene. was about okay Miguel the game's up <laughs> is it now I must admit you've impressed me by making it this far but don't be too cocky you haven't seen my true form yet Alright, so last time we took him out, it was a joint effort between Rachel and Burns. This time, let's see how Rachel and... Ow! How Rachel and Alex handle it. Gotta stay away from his claws, though. Okay, is so he gonna do that... Yeah, that spinning arm thing. Is there anywhere safe? Well, I guess I'm safe over here. Yeah. 
Ah, Mist. Ah, it still got me. But we have plenty of healing items. What about you? Well, not from over here. I can't shoot through that barrier. Ooh, I don't remember doing that. Oof. Let's heal. This is not the fight for Alex. So what was that, the moss? Yeah. Ah, oh, that was awful. Alright, you're either gonna shoot those uh, globs of energy at me, or you're gonna... No, now you're gonna do that little spinny thing. Too soon. Good riddance. Our mission is complete. Barat here. Mission complete. Roger, Barat. Good work. You too, Burn. Good work. Now, don't you get cheeky with me, young lady. I'll have you arrested.
Well, there we go. City didn't get destroyed. Everybody survived. We still took the sub, though. Or did we? I guess that just about wraps things up. What will you do now, Mr. Byford? Hmm. I guess I could really use a holiday. What about you, Alex? What are you guys going to do? Michelle and I? Unfortunately, we've got no time to rest. We've got another mission waiting. Okay, so there you go. So that was the good ending to Trag, or, you know, Hard Edge. And I gotta tell you, I think I had more fun playing it the second time through. A uh, big part of that was probably no doubt that I knew what I was doing this time. I wasn't playing it blind. Also part of the fun was uh, I wasn't doing the LP of it, I was just playing it on my own. So, uh, I feel a little softer about Trag, and I like it a bit more. Um, I would suggest, you know, at least giving it a try if what you've seen me playing interests you. Um, I don't think it's really a very must-play type of game. Um, even, even in genres similar to this, I don't think this is exactly like a, a serious uh, entry. This is just something that I had fun with because it appeals to my particular tastes and my kind of personality. It still wasn't uh, great to play, but it played well enough, especially the second time through, that I had a better understanding of it. I had a lot more items by the end of the game. I think I, think I wasn't really using them until probably the fight with the, um, the succubus enemy that I keep calling it. But all in all, I think Trag was a fun little game. Um, I think I think calling it Hard Edge was a better idea. I don't know what happened that it got called Trag here in America. Maybe it was a copyright thing. Maybe some distributor thought it sounded cooler than Hard Edge. Who knows? But that's it. Thanks for playing. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next game.